guys judge man 46 here and beside me I'm with Zane now um I don't know what Zane's gonna be doing Zane's playing some civilization right now so he might not talk throughout the whole video but he's be oh my goodness what is that thing oh, blah, 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 man, that's looks like my grandma <coughs> <coughs> whatever though it's dead now um yeah guys we're playing rage and rage quit no not rage quit just rage oh. And, um, yeah, this is an awesome game. Um, excuse me, by the way, I'm sick. I'm sorry if I sound really sick, but that's because I am sick. But, um, yeah. Oh, it's an accident. Yes, it is. Anyway, so here we've been saved by this guy. But, yeah, we decided we'd play Rage because, you know, it's another awesome game. It's huge, a huge, huge game. Huge, huge game. It's so big they had to divide it in the campaign into two CDs. But, yeah, that's okay because we are willing to do this. And, um, this is pretty much just the beginning part and the first mission that they pretty much set you out to do on Rage. Um, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in this video, but it's pretty cool. Now, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the videos. I don't know if, would you guys rather me comment on them or would you guys just rather to see the video? I'm sure it would probably get boring just watching the people play the game. Um, maybe would you like me to make certain parts sound out? We'll see what I do here. Um, but yeah, it'll be different. Um, yeah. So you guys decide. Uh, Zane, any suggestions for what we should do, like, with these videos, because... I don't know, I think we're just showing off the game a bit, you know, saying, look what we got. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Yeah. And we, I guess we could put up the volume on some parts, but a lot of it's going to be us talking. Um, 
if that's okay with you guys. If not, then tell us and we'll do something otherwise because it's you guys we care about. We play the game. We have fun playing the game. The commentaries are completely up to you guys. What you guys like in the commentaries is up to you. <coughs> Again, excuse me that I'm sick. But here we just got past the first bandits and that's pretty fun. Stop being sick, John. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but Zane, what do you think about this game? Um, I... I, I myself quite like the game. It's fun because, like, it's it's like a Borderlands-type Fallout 3-type mix. Yeah. You know, one big mosh pit of fun. Definitely. It's got unique weapons and cars and sides. I like to run people over with the buggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's definitely crazy. And as you'll see up ahead, like, the enemies are insane in this game. That's one thing. They don't act like the other ones. They have, uh, they jump on walls, roll on ceilings, bounce, rounds. Do other such things <laughs> that don't exist. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I remember first watching Zane play the game, and he got up to this part, and, like, enemy was doing backflips off the roof and, like, rolling at him and running on the wall. It was crazy stuff. And not only that, but as you've already seen, they are ugly. Ugly, <laughs> ugly people. <coughs> yeah, guys. So, um, uh, this is being recorded with the HD PVR that we got for Christmas. Uh, I oh, hope, I love Christmas. <laughs> I hope you guys, um are liking the quality. And um, who's excited for New Year's? I'm excited for New Year's. I'm excited for New Year's. Do you my, know why I'm excited for New Year's? Because it's my sister's birthday on New Year's. Really? Yeah. Dude, that is awesome. You didn't know my sister was a New Year's baby? No, I didn't. Oh, well, now you know. All right. That doesn't really matter, though, because... That guy has cool glasses. Right? It's like green. I bet they have, like, those little visor thingies where, like, it tells you information with the glasses. It's over 9,000! <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> I want my glasses. Over 9, yeah, I want my guys to tell me when things are over 9,000. They're right here. The guy's pretty much telling us that we gotta go into those bandits' house and kill them all. And yeah, it's a fun time, definitely. But yeah, um... So... Pretty much the bandits' house, and... There's a lot of talking in this game, unfortunately, you know? Yeah, I know. The, the talking's quite... Not fun. Yeah, it's but one of those games where you have, to, you have to get into it, you know? Yeah, Advance. but definitely it's, like, this is um, me playing the game right now. We tried doing a recording with Zane playing the game, but we accidentally had it set to 420p, and that did not look good on the screen. It was just, like, a big square with two black barriers around it. So I had to go ahead and replay the stuff. And, yeah, so now we are getting on this awesome quad. Quad of awesomeness and keep going. So yeah, basically we're on the quad, we're driving around, doing some other fun stuff. Oh, Johnny, you suck at driving. It's horrible driver. Horrible, horrible, horrible driver. And stop. <laughs> so yeah, he's going on his little oh, yeah. cute thing. I understand now why you, when you were playing with the joysticks it was so weird. But yeah, yeah, the boost is so fun. You suck at driving. Hey, I'm a great driver. Really? Look at, look at me boosting around, boosting along the road. You suck at driving. How am I suck at driving? I'm doing fine. You ran into a wall earlier. Yeah, that was a just a stationary wall. Out. Yeah, you crashed into a rock and died <laughs> while driving a quad. How, how do you get any worse than that? Dude, okay, I was <laughs> testing how far I could fly. It was All a right. test. And here we arrived at the bandit's cave. Actually, I think it's called the ghost hideout, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, this place is crazy for a first level, eh? Like, the enemies it gives you, it seems almost like they're overpowered for, like, this level of game. And that that we were playing on normal, and it took like 50 shots to kill one guy because they were jumping all over the place. But yeah, and the ghost hideout, yep, that's what it's called. And uh, that little loading sign is actually called a wing stick, which I will show you guys what it is in the next episode of our rage, because that's where I get it. And yeah, and it's really cool. It's like a boomerang, pretty much, and it cuts people's heads off. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. So, once this is saving up, there we go. Now we are now in the ghost's cave, or in the ghost hideout, and it's giving me some tips. Loot corpses. Yes, that was a good tip. That really told me how to get money out of corpse and stuff. I guess. But yeah, here we go. This is where you guys will see some crazy stuff. There's some crazy banditos in here. You know what I mean? Some banditos. But yeah. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, we live in Costa Rica. Actually, I think they know that, right? Yeah, yeah, you guys know that. <coughs> um, sorry. Uh, we live in Costa Rica. Oh, here comes, here comes. Watch this bandit. Watch this bandito. 
and he's coming at me like crazy, right? And he rolls over, and he's like, boom, boom. Okay, this guy wasn't that crazy, but you'll see some crazy people up ahead. Like, they all pulled this crazy stunts on me. And I get cornered here. This is like a terrible part to get cornered. I'm trying to figure out how to whack. So I, I put away my gun and punched the guy to death, Zane. <coughs> mm. I, I, I didn't realize that the whacking button was the same as in a... It's the same as shanking in Call of Duty. So I put away my gun, and I start whacking the guy. I, like, start punching the guy. It was ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, what was I gonna say? Um, the lighting, videos. the lighting in that one level is really weird. So yeah, there's weird lighting in here. So excuse the lighting, and it's not, it's not even like they keep It's not us, No, it's actually <coughs> green. It was like green. Yeah, and like, um, you're gonna search the computer. I just shot people. Yeah, Zane just went out there and like killed everything and left everything else behind. I'm like looking around for, for like ammo and clues, and this place is really dark. Then I come up to this wall and I pause for a sec, and then uh. Wait, not this yet. I'm looking at what that is, and I pause right here. But I'm back in like two seconds. It's like dink, 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 dink and now I'm back in the game. All right, and I'm back. Yeah, that was actually a a 15 minute pause, but I had to shorten it. But yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm done looking around here. Hopefully, because okay, yeah. And so I get out of there, <coughs> and I go on a fighting enemies. But as I was saying, I live in Costa Rica, and down here stuff is more expensive. Stuff's harder to get. So it took me a while to get this HD PBR, so I'm sorry about that if you guys were expecting, like, hardcore gaming videos, and I haven't done, co hey, Lemonator 33, that's Zane's little brother. <laughs> oh, did you guys see that front flip? That was intense, huh? But yeah, so I had to get the HD PBR, and I had to get it shipped down from the States or whatnot, and it only, I could get it for Christmas, and that's about it. It's harder to get things, pretty much, is what I'm saying. And yeah, but now I'm excited to have it. Now I'm, I'm, we're going to start doing Call of Duty Rage, as you can see. We're going to, like, do Halo Forge maps, like, own made and, like, other people made. So if you guys want to tell us about Forge maps, tell us and we'll play them, right? I love Forge maps. Zane loves Forge maps. That's, like, his favorite part of all Halo is making a Forge map. But, yeah, it's definitely a fun thing to do. And, yeah, if there's any other games you guys... Oh, see that? See that wall-gripping, like, backflip, dude? And you so walk crazy. up and smack him in the yeah, face. Yeah, then I walk up and smack him in the face because his okay. stamina is low. <laughs> Although not really. And this part, look at this, look, I check the ground for any traps, yep, yep, in case there's traps, oh, and, uh, yeah, of course I walk into an inevitable trap of the whole game, <laughs> but I checked for the trap, there was nothing, there were no trip wires, there was nothing to grab it's me by the feet. the only one in the game that you can't avoid. Yeah, it's crazy. And, uh, this guy pretty much says, like, oh, an intruder, and then he grabs me, like, how dare you come into our base, take him to the kill room, yeah, take him to the kill room, and then he, like, spins, gives that guy my gun and spins me around. And next thing you know, I wake up, and there's a dead guy, like, right there. Well, that's, like, Punisher, and the dead guy right there with three knives in him. And this guy's like, ah, you're awake. I like it when my prey knows what's going to happen to him. And this will only hurt a bit. And then he stabs me or whatever, and I die. And now, guys, this is... <coughs> this right here is one cool thing about the game. The defibrillator. Zane, explain to him what the defibrillator is. The defibrillator is you got two joysticks. You know, one for each thumb, unless you're mortally wounded then you ain't got thumbs which would kind of suck <laughs> but you get there and you hold the triggers johnny's he's pretty good at it suck at it yeah just being nice you're really bad <laughs> <laughs> and then wow you even didn't even miss yeah the i thing. missed those things shut so up you range the joysticks pull the triggers and at the very end of it you got two triggers pull the triggers boom you then shock everybody getting yourself back up and in the game yeah that was a brief explanation thanks Zane, and thank you thank you um coca-cola for for uh, sponsoring that message, and just kidding. Coca-Cola doesn't sponsor us. Coca-Cola doesn't sponsor us. Oh, this is where I save, because things start getting intense from here out. Um, you will see a couple saves in the middle game right here, and I'm like, okay, did I save? Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, yeah, that's crazy, the, the defibrillator. That way it gives you a chance when you die to come back to life, pretty much. It's nice. And what are the things called? They're called nanoids or something like that? Nanites. Nanites, and this is where I try whacking the guy from behind, I punch him in the butt a couple times and punch him in the head and he finally dies. But yeah, they're called nanites, and pretty much what they are is they're like things that power your body and I guess power your body, that's what I understood of it. And when you die, you do that thing and it brings you back to life, and yeah. Right here I'm like sniping some people out with my pistol. Later on we get this thing where it's actually like pretty much sniping, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so that guy is dead. And then there's a couple more guys, and... 
the pistol here is insane. Like, the, Zane's first play around. Oh, this guy comes at me. Oh, dodge! Like a boss. Like, I gotta admit, they did a great job on the enemies on this game. Would you agree oh, with that? Amazing. Um, yeah. Um, so, I'm there playing, and Zane, his first time around, he's like, he wastes all his bullets, and he's like, run out of bullets by this time, <laughs> and I still have 60-something bullets here. He's like, oh, I can't fire any bullets, and I, I like, oh, this guy's on the ground. Yeah, but I was, I was more fun. Look at, look at I the, murdered everybody. look at the, like, the dust that shoots up when you shoot this guy, and it's crazy. But, um, I I'm think the... Fat boy bullets. Oh, the fat so boy. Anyway, I'm good looking around. I'm finding bullets everywhere, and Zane's having trouble because he's like running out of bullets. But he doesn't look around and find bullets. But that's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, later on we get these fat boys, and it's like crazy. But yeah, it's definitely a fun game, and you should de oh, look at that. Oh, I love that dude. They could not have made better enemies. Bethesda, you did it good this time, and ID Games or whatever ID. Whatever it is. Good job on these enemies. And yeah, if you guys want a video where you actually hear the audio of the game, please tell me. Um, I know you heard the audio of the intro and stuff, and we can add audio and whatnot. Wow, rolling ninjas. Yeah, but yeah, just tell us. And any other games that you'd like to see? I'm just baffled by these enemies. It's amazing. Just how how can a game incorporate incorporate such so many features in one enemy? You know, this, these are like the beginning enemies, and they're doing crazy stuff. <coughs> yeah, I'm excited for this game. I really am enjoying playing this already, and uh, we'll have Zane do some gameplay. Also, this is me my gameplay, but we'll have some some Zane's gameplay. I'm a first person shooter boy. Yeah, buddy, we're all first person shooters on the inside, ish. Except for the third person shooters and like the platform gamers and stuff. I don't do platform very much. Well, the platform's fun. I like platform. Ooh, I like From Dust. Oh, from Dust. Fun. That is a fun game. How about that, guys? From Dust. Would you guys like to see some gameplay from that game? If you haven't seen it, it's oh, pretty much. Oh, we got much... um, uh, tons of like arcade games as well. We <laughs> That's got... true. We got Halo. We got enough points. Did you see that spinning wheel kick, dude? He's we, a we learned that in our mm -hmm. martial arts class. We could do today. Techno Kitten Adventures. Techno Kitten Adventures. Okay, I don't know how much of that I could handle, but if you I guys want it, it, if you guys want Techno Kitten Adventures, please tell us, because Zane would love that. And I know you guys want to see some more Zane in our videos. I love you guys. <coughs> mm. Yeah. And I remember when Zane did this part, he threw grenades out here, and he, like... Missed. Ev no, he missed, but, like, still people blew to Chunkies. Yeah, they let the giblets fly. <laughs> the giblets the giblets. Later on, I know I try using grenades and I like fail because I don't know how to throw them. Then I realize it's left bumper, but it took me a while to figure it out. And me picking up more ammo. By now, I've got over a hundred ammo, and Zane's probably like, "What in the world?" Yeah, I was so angry. I was like, "Damn it!" Oh, and this guy tries sneaking up on him, but he's like, "No!" So I kill him in two shots. <laughs> that was definitely my prideful moment. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that sent me to the death room. What a jerk! But yeah, from there on, things get pretty mellow, I think. Oh no, there's a couple more guys up here, actually. This is where I learned to use my grenades is up here. I'm like trying stuff. I'm trying to throw grenades through the hole, and I'm like, I can't do it. And I pick up more grenades. And this is where I'm like experimenting, and I'm like changing grenades and whatnot. I'm like, yep, um, where am I grenade changing? And finally, I figure out, I think, that grenades are thrown with the right bumper is this where I figure it out and I'm like yes grenade throw and the guy tries to run away and boom he's dead right there and then I come up to this guy and I'm like boom 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 chicka, chicka, boom boom and he's like owning me I, I suck at this game <laughs> but hopefully I get better Zane's really good at it oh except this part I own I'm, I'm oh I save the game here because I don't want to die and then I like turn through the stores and check this out. I come here, I throw a grenade out this window. Well, first I go loot these bodies. Oh, looting's always fun. Yep. And then I throw a grenade out this window, and I'm like, boom. Thought you got that from me, you cheapo. No, no, I throw this grenade out this window and I kill like three guys. Like I kid you not. One of the people turned to ch blew up into chunkies. I don't know if you could see him there. Oh, I saw him. He flew at you. So this guy, and that—that's the only guy I actually had to manually kill. 
I was checking if that guy had a body, but then I realized I did loot him already. I loot all the bodies. Loot all the bodies, and that's where the giblets were, but they disappeared. And that guy, and I checked if that's body, but it's not. And then this part. I love this part. The zip line. This is pretty much once I finished the ghost, the ghost side out. Anyway, that was an amazing first level, I gotta be honest. It was pretty nice. Like, I think they played that off really well, the setup of the enemies and the, the zip line at the end, and a good achievement for Ghostbuster, whatever. Da -da -da. And that's like, oh, that's the entrance, so I just leave here. But yeah, guys, um, there's a long pause of game right here, I guess. Oh yeah, going back out to the wasteland. Yeah, this game, f to fill on two CDs, and like, this is like a Borderlands style game, right? Oh, to yeah. To where you're like playing on a huge level, and you pretty much do whatever you want. Um, I'm, I'm like, impressed. Like, and they had to fit on to two CDs? Did they have to fit Borderlands onto two? No, Borderlands was one. Oh, well, yeah, but the third CD is multiplayer. How do you do multiplayer? How does that make sense? Is it like co-op campaign? Uh, you can drive cars and shoot each other with a car. Oh. Well, we'll have to check out how the multiplayer works out one day. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, very. Uh, you know what other game looks fun? Um, what's it called? What's that one where you're, like, out in the desert? It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. Um, where you can, like, ride a unicorn, and you're, like, cowboys, and you shoot each other. Oh, that's Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption, yeah. We should definitely play some of that game. Because that game looks fun, and I'd like to get it on video, too. It looks like a fun game, right? It is a fun <coughs> game. <coughs> well, yeah, you own it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, guys, and now we're driving back and we're redeeming our armor that the guy promised us. He promised us some armor. And I, I tried doing this it. jump and I don't get that thingy. Anyway, as I know, those things are like engineer jumps or something like that. They're called engineer jumps. The mm -hmm. things were, yeah. And pretty much what they are is, I guess, you take, you make jumps with different vehicles, maybe, and you get points for it. But yeah, that's, and I crash into a wall again. And I'm like, okay, let's go park in the garage. And I'm like, wait a minute, I don't need to do that. I remember this doorway. So I take the thing out, crash into another wall. Because I'm a terrible driver. Oh, and crash into another wall. And then I'm like, okay, finally home. And then it tells me about the vendor. And I go here, and I give this, and I tell this guy that I did my job. And this guy congratulates me. Anyways, yeah, guys. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so remember to like it, remember to subscribe to our channel, remember to favorite the video, do everything you want to it, comment below. Remember, comment if you love me. Comment if you love Zane. Like the video if you love, love Zane. And subscribe to us if you super love us. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe is like...